The issue of immigration has recently resurfaced within the politics of the United States. To learn more about the specifics of the immigration debate and to learn how it plays out on the ground, BioTour decided to visit the U.S.-Mexico border in Arizona, where we met with local leaders, border patrol agents, and even two recent immigrants. My name is Camilas Lopez. I'm the chairman for the Garcha District Council in Paramount Commission. How do you feel with all these Cousins War Protection Agencies? The first time when they came, it was like um, they imposed themselves. If they find somebody in the desert, they would take their bags and just throw them off to the side and the canteens and everything out in the middle of the desert. And so and after years, you know, you go out there and you see all that out there. It's still out there. It's all kind of trash, you know. The environmental degradation? Um, yeah. While the Border Patrol agents were strictly keeping to their job description, they were also a bit curious about our journey. Everybody a U.S. citizen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't have a nice evening. All right, thank thank you. you. All right. How many miles of a gallon do you get on vegetable oil? Uh, about the same as diesel. 10, 10 miles per gallon, approximately. Really? Get, supposedly we get a little bit better, but nothing we can notice. They, uh, they just crossed the border, I believe. Buenas tardes, señores. ¿Cómo se llaman? Yo, mi nombre es Raúl Pérez. ¿Y de dónde es usted? Es Michoacán. ¿Y usted? ¿Cómo se llama? Javier Chávez. De Michoacán. ¿Han recorrido por dónde? Por todo el desierto de aquí de Altar Sonora. Salimos de Altar Sonora y llegamos aquí a... No sé cómo se llama aquí. We've seen um, Border Patrol agents, you know, in the summertime. In July, it'll get to be like 120 something, and uh, it's really, really hot, and probably the concrete is hotter, but they'll take them and throw them on the ground. You know, and when it's really, really hot, and keep them there. And people can complain, even though they may be innocent and nothing's going on, but there's just a hint of maybe they're doing something wrong. And ya llevamos ya dos noches y dos días caminando. Tenemos muy cansados. Hemos matado muchas culebras, muchas víboras. Oh. Tarantulas. El desierto es muy malo. No se lo recomiendo a nadie. Mis planes es llegar a a fines de fines llegar a, a Michigan sí, con mi, mi esposa y mis cuatro hijos que tengo allá buscar un buen trabajo y tocar mi vida El work program es la solución to have them come through the right way and, and because all they want is work so they, they make money and then they send it to their families to help them because they don't, they don't have jobs on that side Dar un mensaje a sus hijos que les, les quería decir Oh, que los quiero mucho y que pronto estaré con ellos con mi esposa también, Madeline Pérez Pedraza. Mi hijo Daniel, los quiero mucho y le pido a Dios mucho que no te estaré con ellos. Primeramente Dios. If this is happening and you can't stop it, then, you know, and we got so many Border Patrol agents, you know, you, you see them on the road. Uh, a group of nice people had just given the migrants bikes to continue on their journey to meet their families. When we were young, a um, long time ago, and they would come, you know, and grandma would go outside, or my mom or somebody would cook them a meal, sit them down, we'd check their shoes to see that they had good shoes, and they would put, give them our new old shoes that, you know, we weren't wearing anymore.